Hi there guys, I just wanted to, oh guys and girls, I just wanted to talk about uh, what I got up to on the weekend, which was, um, they have this convention in Australia every year called Supernova, where they bring out, you know, some special guests, I went to the one last year, they had uh, Michael Winslow there, which was awesome, you know, I always wanted to meet him, and I got to meet him, and get a photo, and um, I've even got some footage of him, which I'm yet to put up on YouTube, but um, this year they had some um, interesting guests, they had um, Hayden Panettiere, Panettiere or whatever her name is, from uh, Heroes, who's like the cheerleader, and they had um, the chick who plays Starbuck on Battlestar Galactica, uh, Katie something, I'm not really into Battlestar, but um, anyway, yeah, so... Went down to this convention because I found out, um, well, Eric Roberts was going to be there, which is cool, but he had to cancel because he's filming The Expendables. Um, but the really cool thing was, uh, when they do these shows, normally you have to pay for autographs, but um, they usually bring out an anime guest, or a few anime guests, and uh, this year, you know, it was the two guys from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, um, Dave Willis and uh, Dana Snyder. And I couldn't believe it, you know, I'm a big Aqua Teen Hunger Force fan, um, it's a really bizarre cartoon that just makes me laugh my ass off, and, um, I never thought those guys would, I never thought they'd even been considered to come to Australia, because I, I always thought that the Aqua Teen Hunger Force fan base down here must have been pretty small, but, um, I was wrong, because there was loads of fans turned up to see them, and, uh, turned up to get autographs, and the cool thing was, you know, those autographs were free, so, um, I took all my DVDs down, I took my, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja Pro-Am game down even. I uh, took the movie down, and, and those guys were cool, man. They were really funny for a start. You know, they were really easy to talk to, you know. They weren't up themselves. They were funny guys, and, and they signed all my DVDs. They didn't say, you know, only one item or some bullshit, you know. They signed all my DVDs. They signed the game. They signed the movie. Um, you know, they wrote funny shit on the covers, like, uh, you know, this shit's free on the internet, and thanks for all your money, and... <laughs> Um, I think on one of them they crossed out uh, the uh, hunger part, so I said Aqua Teen Luke Force um, and stuff like that. And and they were just yeah, they were really cool guys. And um, the the really cool part of or well, the reason I sort of made this was um, uh, I, I thought I'd show you guys a few photos. Uh, so I'm just recording the sound for this at the moment, so I'm going to try and sync this up later in uh, Movie Maker. But um, yeah, uh, here's a photo of me and the Aqua Teen Hunger Force guys, man, and, um, yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah, hold that for a few seconds so you can check out the photo, cool, <laughs> and, uh, as you'll notice in the hand, uh, my DVDs that have been signed, here's a photo, uh, of them, another photo of them here, of all the DVDs that they signed for me, along with some other, uh, other stuff I got to pick up at the show, um, as you can see, um, they had the Ghostbusters, uh, beta beta version of the game there, I got to play it man, so, you know, I didn't get to play it at E3, but I got to play it back home in Australia, and, um, yeah, that's a really cool game, and, um, the, the, uh, the girls and guys there at Atari, uh, hooked me up, they gave me some, uh, stickers, uh, some badges, and, uh, I even, got, I was even one of the lucky enough, or I was even lucky enough to get a t-shirt, because only a few people got those, and, uh, I got an Atari hat, which was pretty cool. So, um, anyway, yeah, back to the Aqua Teen guys, um, yeah, I, that's, that's, uh, pretty much it, but they signed all my DVDs, and, um, I, I got a photo with them, but you know what, I got something else, this is really cool, um, I have a, a, a an MP3 player, that whenever I go, you know, go out, it's what I listen to my songs on, and it's not a fucking iPod, unlike every other person on the planet, I've got a, uh, a Koan, uh, MP3 player, and, uh, one of the features of the Koan MP3 player is that it has a, a microphone, and it has a bloody good microphone, I'll tell you, and, uh, so I said to, uh, Dave Willis, um, if I was to, you know, flick this on, would you say something for me, you know, just say something funny, and, you know, I thought maybe, I, I shouldn't have asked, maybe, you know, but he goes, yeah, man, you know, and, and I flicked it on for him, and, and he did some master shakes, so, um, in a second I'll play that, but, uh, then I came back on day two to see these guys again, and then I asked, uh, Dana Snyder the next day, I go, yesterday, you know, Dave was cool enough to do some, uh, Master Shake for me, uh, wondering if you would, uh, do some Carl and Hand Banana stuff for me, because, uh, 
Ham Bananas the shit, man. Ham Bananas awesome. And uh, he goes, yeah, and he, he did um, some voices too, which is really cool. And now you go, you guys are going to get to hear them because I'm going to put them in this video. So um, there's a bit of background noise, obviously, because it was a convention and I was buzzing with activity. But you'll hear, you'll hear them do the voices, man. And they did these live for me. How cool is that, you know? And I'm like, oh, that's so awesome, man. So they were really awesome guys, man. And and uh, it was a pleasure just to hear them talk. And I'm so glad they came out to Australia, you know. Um, some of the other some of the other celebrities at this thing, you know, uh, they weren't so crash hot, you know. Um, I didn't really get to even talk to that uh, Hayden Panettiere much. Panettiere or what? I don't I can't I can't say a fucking name. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but I, I didn't even get to talk to him. I got to talk to him for about a minute, and I lined up for two hours to get her autograph, and I had to pay forty bucks for it. Man, can you believe that shit? And all she wrote was Luke Hayden Panettiere. She didn't. You know, last year they had James Carson Lee from Heroes there, and he's like um the friend of Hiro Nakamura, and that guy wrote, you know, he did a big autograph on the cover for me, and um, he even did, like, the little hero symbol and all that. You know, she did nothing. She didn't do a love heart or write thanks for watching or, I don't know, save the cheerleaders, save the world. She didn't write nothing, man. She just signed a name and, and wrote Luke. And it's one of the most boring autographs I've ever seen. I had to line up for two hours for it because she was, she was not there for some reason. Uh, on top of that, we weren't allowed to take her photo. We were forbidden f from taking her photos. The only person at the whole show who had some bloody rule about taking her photo. Uh, and then there was some security guard who was screening all the personal items before they got signed. And of course, because I had the HD DVD heroes to get signed, the dumbass security guard like picks it up like, Oh, what's this? Why is, it, why is this smaller? And I felt like being a real smart ass and going, Oh, that's because, you know, my photocopier only does A4. I felt like saying something like that, you know, just imply that it's a fucking, I don't even own the DVD, I've just got some shitty copy, but, you know, I didn't fuck around, I just said, nah, man, that's the HD version, you know, he didn't even know, and he's like, what's that, and I'm like, okay, I go, it's like DVD, but it's no longer around, you know, he's alright, <laughs> fucker, <laughs> but yeah, so I was a bit disappointed with meeting her, um, the Q&A session was pretty pretty bland, but, um, all the fans just asked her about heroes constantly, heroes, 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 I was going to ask her about Law and Order, actually, she was in an episode of Law and Order, but I didn't get to ask my question, but, um, yeah, you know, it was pretty straightforward stuff, do you think Claire will be, are they making season four, do you think Claire will do, <laughs> you know, so it was those sorts of questions. But, um, yeah, no, I was a bit disappointed with her autograph, and, and they hiked up the prices. Last year, the prices were $30, and they gave the lamest excuse on the planet that it was due to the financial crisis. So, that's, that's fucking bullshit. And if I wanted a photo with Hayden, it would have cost 50 bucks. Last year, photos were 30 uh, So, that's a dodge. Super dodge. <laughs> Dodgy as. Um, it's probably... She wasn't mean... But I just got to say, the setup of meeting her and, and that was probably one of the worst out of all the celebs I've met, you know. Um, I even got to talk to, er you know, I talked to Ernie Hudson. That was a different one. That was Armageddon Expo last year. I got to talk to Ernie Hudson for like a few minutes. I barely even got to talk to this girl. She said, all she said was, um, oh, you should watch Heroes back to back. That, that's pr practically what she said. I said, I've only seen season one, and I've got to get on to season two and three. She goes, oh, you got a lot of catching up to do. And I go, oh, yeah, sort of. <laughs> I go, I'll watch them pretty quick. And she goes, oh, you should watch them back to back. That was pretty much the conversation. There, yeah, I did that in about ten seconds. And then I was like, move along, next, you know. Move, next. Who wants to have next fucking autograph, you know. So that was pretty lame. Pretty lame. Whereas, you know, when I met the Aqua Teen Hunger Force guys, they signed all my DVDs, and I was talking to them and shit, you know, and there was there was a line behind me, and I, I wasn't doing it to hold up the line, I just I just said, um, it'd be cool if I could get, you know, all, all of my Aqua Teen stuff signed, and they were cool with it, you know, and, and um, yeah, before I went home today, I went back and spoke to them, because there was no one there, and, you know, um, everyone had their stuff signed, and they were just sitting there, <laughs> so I got to talk to them one last time, and thanked them for coming out, and thanked them 
for signing all my stuff and doing voices for me. So, yeah, they were really cool guys. And uh, I know that I've been talking for a while, haven't I? Yeah, see, I can I can talk, you know. I'm a talker. But, um, yeah, I'll wrap, I'll wrap this up here. Enjoy the clips that they did for me. Uh, I know you guys will because they're fucking hilarious. And uh, if you want to if you want to laugh more and you haven't checked out my other videos, uh, you'll find a video of the Q and A sessions. Um, they'll be called I think uh, I don't know uh, TMK attend Supernova or something, um, something like that. And um, yeah, just Aquatine Hunger Force Q and A panel or something. It'll be something like that. You'll see them. Just just look at my latest videos, and there should be two. Um, at the moment, as as I'm talking right now, I'm uploading day two. The reason I'm uploading day two first is because um, I think something happened when I first dumped the footage off my camera with day one. It just it sort of broke in the middle, and when it was making the file, and just said error. And so I'm just going to do it again, um, just because when I tend to join them, I don't know. They seem to go out of sync in the program I use for some fucking reason. So. I'll probably just dump it again and um, upload it. But for now, enjoy day two and enjoy these clips of Carl and Master Shake. So you can get your action on the side. Look! <laughs> I hate your face! Stop shoving this thing in my mouth! I'll kick your mom's buttocks! You love it! <laughs> Kiss my genitals! Wait, that's how my Which are humongous! <laughs> Super sized! That's cool, thanks. Hey, how are you? What's up? Is it, is it on? Luke, Luke, what, how many times did I tell you? Don't wave this microphone in my face. You wave it in my face and it's about to get broken. I'll tell you that much right now. I don't even know why I'm describing it. I'm going to break it right now. I'm going to break it right in front of your face and watch you cry and laugh at you. <laughs> Look, tonight, you. <laughs> That's awesome.